In this video, I'm going to tell you about the top six swords in Velen. The idea is that between uh, levels 3 and 10, there's a long gap where you can't upgrade Witcher School Swords. You can pick up the Viper School Swords, which are like level 2 or 3 in White Orchard, and then it's not until level 11 that you can start using the Griffin School Witcher gear. Between that time, you really need to use Relic, Magic, or Master Swords. I'm going to talk about two to three slotted swords, six of them, that you can pick up between levels uh, 3 and 10 that are good upgrades to the Viper School Steel and Silver Swords that you get in White Orchard. And then you'll probably want to upgrade to the Griffin Swords uh, once you hit a level 11. The first one I'm going to talk about is Moonblade. It's a silver sword. Uh, it has 11% critical hit damage bonus and it's in Velen. Uh, it's uh, in the in the water, so uh, east of Crow's Perch here near this bridge, uh, you pick up the key from the guy in the water, and the key opens the chest. Uh, then I'm going to talk about the Turtokar steel sword and the blood sword silver sword. These swords are actually picked up while you're doing the Griffin School quest uh, at the castle that's east of Oxenfurt on the Pontar, near the Pontar Crossing. That uh, These two swords are excellent swords. Uh, I picked them up at like level 8 when I was level 10, uh, the equivalent of level 10 in NG+. I think they scale to your level sort of within two levels. So you could pick them up like level 7 or 8, and both the steel and silver swords uh, will be a great upgrade to the Viper Swords you got in White Orchard. Uh, and then you would also have the the diagram uh, for the uh, Steel Griffin Sword too, and you can craft that uh, when you get closer to level 11. So uh, the Blood Sword is a silver sword. It has 10% critical hit bonus damage, uh, 9% Bleeding, 2% critical hit chance. It's got three slots. Turtokar Blade has two slots, but it has an awesome plus 50% critical hit bonus and 5% critical hit chance. Uh, and it was like level 8 when I was the equivalent of level 10 in this NG Plus playthrough. The other two swords that I'm going to talk about are... Swords that uh, you get with the Silver Sword part of the, the basic Griffin School quest, and they're at the Tower. Um, those two are Harvel and the Gnomish Winner, and they're both Steel Swords. Harvel has three slots. Uh, it's at the Lornrook Tower, which is in northwest of Velen by the Place of Power there. It's guarded by a wyvern and a bunch of uh, drowners. Those drowners are... You have to kill them in the water and you have to kind of swim up underneath the tower and then you climb up the tower and then you have to shoot down the wyvern and kill it. And you get the griffin silver sword in this quest. You also, uh, on the beach there at the bottom, uh, you get the, uh, the place of power. Uh, and so you get these two steel swords, which are also good intermediate swords uh, that you may want to use uh, before you upgrade to the Griffin School swords. So the Gnomish Gwinner has two slots, but it has a better critical uh, hit chance of 30% critical hit damage and a 5% critical hit damage, a critical hit chance. So 5% chance, 53% damage bonus uh, so it's pretty awesome it came in at kind of a lower level than i was so maybe it only goes up like five to level five uh or maybe five levels below but it's still worth thinking about that or the Tur tokar blade also two slotted which has these awesome critical hit bonuses the sixth sword that i'm going to talk about is uh Dithwin, which is a silver sword, 
This one, you are going to have to fight a lot of drowners, kill a lot of drowners in the water, and do a lot of diving. It's part of the Sunken Chess Quest, and uh, it is a it's pretty awesome sword. Uh, it, as a silver sword, you go you sail south of Fike Island uh, to this this ruin, the smaller island uh, with this ruins. And it does involve uh, a bit of swimming. It's also this the, the swimming you'll do. You'll probably pick up the the enhanced woven or armor while you're there uh, because you'll find that chest too. It's actually a little bit harder to find the Dithwind chest, which is associated with uh, the sunken treasure uh, treasure hunt. Uh, that. You have to be careful uh, because there are two drowners there defending it, and there's also uh, you have to go underneath some stuff, so you can easily drown there. So you have to be careful uh, and manage your air properly when you when you pick up Dithwood. But it is certainly worth it, and you know for a level seven to ten player, it's a it's a great upgrade. And then uh, with level eleven, of course, you're going to want to upgrade to the the Griffin School swords. So, you know, my recommendation after you get out of Velen uh, and after you do the Griffin School upgrades is to start upgrading uh, between the Cat and the Ursine School and use the gaps in the, the years, uh, the levels of the upgrades all the way up to the superior level. Uh, and, and that'll allow you to upgrade every, I don't know, four to two levels so your your swords are never obsolete and you kind of have some of the best blades so you can't for a for a given level you can't beat the witcher school swords so uh at, while you have access to them use them i'm linus wilson subscribe and hit the bell notification icon we do uh videos about the witcher 3 and the witcher netflix series